The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. How to make an easy and effective reverse reverb effect. We're going to be using just stock Ableton plugins today. I'm going to begin by showing you the example and you'll hear the reverse reverb effect on the vocal as a transition into the hook. No, you different the one. That's just me, boy, I run. That's just me, boy, I run. I just came for the fun. If you want to hear the full song, This Is Fun by Hoops, I'll put a link in the description. But the part that I want to talk about today is right here. <clears throat> now there's a couple things going on. That's why they say this is not just your standard flip your reverb backwards tutorial. Um, <clears throat> I made this in a similar way uh, out of the very first syllable of the hook. Uh, with really just two Ableton plugins, but first we need to extract that first syllable. Kind of st let's just this is a little bit of trial and error always you could just copy this command C and then go up one command V boom let me just start messing with this I'll solo this because we don't really need here we want a little bit of the tone not just all breath maybe like right here perfect are you a music producer that loves making blazing hip-hop bangers? Do you want your trap beats to sound extra crispy? Then get ready to shake the block. Introducing Urban Beats, the all-new sample pack featuring exclusive trap loops, over 300 urban drum samples, and the most disrespectful 808s your neighbors have ever heard. Urban Beats is available now only at Holoops.com. <clears throat> Now, the first thing we're going to add to this channel is a ping pong delay. Uh, just the, if you double click on ping pong delay, we don't need any of the presets for this. All you got to do is just switch the main preset for two. Because this is a vocal, this range actually works out really well. It's probably why they put this here by default. Uh, yeah, around 30 and 30 on the knobs <clears throat> was what I liked. Uh, you definitely are going to want to be able to hear the delays over the reverb that we're putting next and the preset that actually sounds really good for this is warm reverb long and uh, and the very last thing we're going to do once we've got our effects balanced is go in here and reverse this little piece because now that it's reversed we're going to freeze it and by the way, freezing is such a quick way to bounce your MIDI work or any kind of channel work that you want to be able to delete all the plugins for latency purposes or CPU purposes, whatever you have it. Um, freezing, making a new audio channel below it and just simply holding option when you drag it down will give it to you as a nice clean, whether it was MIDI up here or whatever, will convert it to audio for you. And I love this trick and I use this so much, not just when I'm making this effect, but man, this is a time saver all day. And we can mute our top channel. I run. I just can't Boom. Can't. We can even drag it out a little bit more because we froze that whole channel. So it's going to give us right until our reverb began. That's just me, boy, I run. I just came for the fun. Boom. And it's that simple. Kind of just drops in place. And now you kind of have a reverb and delay head. Uh, for your vocal that makes it sound so much more specific to what's about to come than just the uh, plain old reverb. Well, anyways, thank you for sticking around. I hope you learned something. If there's anything you'd like me to talk about, please leave it in a comment below. I'll make a video about it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to those who have turned on notifications for my uploads. I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.